Yeah, dear students, welcome to yet another online tutorial on principles of communication system. So, uh, in this particular tutorial, we'll be discussing about noise equivalent bandwidth. For that discussion, I will be making use of uh, the two examples which we have solved in last class. So, we were discussing about noise. We have studied what are different types of noise, like short noise, thermal noise, and uh, the idealized white noise. And we have solved two problems or, or two exercises on what will happen to white noise when it is passed through an ideal low pass filter and what will happen to a white noise when it is passed through a, a practical RC low pass filter, right? So we'll be making use of those two examples to discuss about the concept of noise equivalent bandwidth. So we'll just recollect what we have done in uh, the last session, right? So we have white noise, right? We have seen white noise. It has a power spectral density of n naught by two for all range of frequencies, and uh, its mean is equal to zero. So that's what we have. And when we pass this white noise through an ideal low pass filter, right? Uh, if we represent the transfer function of that low pass filter as h i of f, right? So this h i of f will be defined from minus b to plus b, and uh, the value uh, will be equal to one right so that is an ideal low pass filter so when you pass this white noise with given power spectral density through an ideal low pass filter right we can see the output power spectral density s n of f it will be equal to power spectral density of the white noise at the input times square of magnitude of this uh, h of f right so we have seen that and uh, if you integrate this uh, power spectral density Right, we will get the average power. So that's what we obtained it to be equal to n naught b. We have seen the output power as proportional to the bandwidth. Right, that inference again we have made. Then further, what we did is we uh, know by einstein wiener kingen theorem the autocorrelation function as inverse Fourier transform of power spectral density. So we evaluated the autocorrelation function of the uh, white noise filtered output, a white noise passed through an ideal low pass filter. So then we found it to be equal to n naught b sing 2 bt. These derivations we have done in detail in last class, so I'm not discussing those things. But I would like you to just recollect those results while because we'll be using it in today's discussion. Right. So and one more uh, aspect which you can uh, keep in mind is right. we can either find out the average power by integrating the power spectral density or area under the power spectral density curve, right? Or integrating power spectral density from minus infinity to infinity. That is one way, right? Or else, if you observe this, the autocorrelation function, right? The value of autocorrelation function at tau equal to zero will be same as the average power. So you can compare this. The average power in this case is n naught b. And uh, if you see the value of autocorrelation function for tau equal to zero, that if you substitute tau equal to zero here, sink of zero is one, so it will be n naught b. So uh, in that way also we can evaluate average power. So uh, average power is either area under the possible density curve or the value of autocorrelation function at tau equal to zero. So it's obvious, right. So maybe the details of that, it's beyond the scope of our syllabus, so we are not discussing, right, but these results, Right. I would appreciate if you can keep this in mind. Right. Further, what we have done is we have uh, passed the same white noise through an RC low pass filter. Right, RC low pass filter. It has a transfer function one by j, two pi f R C. Right, we have seen so it will be like this. Right, unlike a ideal low pass filter characteristics, RC low pass filter throughout it's actually for different frequencies the magnitude of transfer function is different and at f is equal to zero that is equal to one and it's actually what rolls off gradually as f increases either in positive or negative direction right and we also know the 3 db bandwidth or half power bandwidth right or the cutoff frequency is one by two pi rc you already know that right so um what will happen if we transmit if we pass this white noise through this RC low pass filter. So the standard result, so the output power spectral density will be input power spectral density times mode of HF of square. So that will be equal to N0 by two 
by 1 by 2 pi FRC square. So we have seen this in detail now. And further, by taking inverse Fourier transform of this, then we got the autocorrelation function as equal to N0 by 4 RC times e power minus mod of tau by RC. So the graph will be, uh, it, it will look like this. It is actually what decaying exponential on both sides, on both positive and negative uh, time shifts. Right. So uh, then further, we can find out the average power, right? So for that, we can use this uh, result which we, which we got just now. The average power will be equal to uh, autocorrelation, value of autocorrelation function at uh, tau equal to zero. So that will be equal to N naught by four RC. If you substitute tau equal to zero, this E power zero, it will be equal to one. So average power will be the value of autocorrelation function at tau equal to zero. So this is the, uh, output power so in both the cases output power are different right so and the one what inference we can make from this is right so from these two examples we can come to a conclusion right the average power or average noise output of a filter is proportional to the bandwidth right so that is the inference so initially uh, for a ideal low pass filter the output power was n not b right and uh, output power, average output power for in the case of an RC uh, low pass filter, it, it was equal, it is equal to N0 by 4 RC, uh, sorry, 4 RC. And uh, you should remember right, the H of F of an ideal of, so what we'll do is we'll consider these two cases, right? And we'll generalize the concept of uh, the noise equivalent bandwidth, right? So I'll just, uh, yeah, so I so we have two filters. One is an ideal LPF, right? One is an ideal LPF, right? Say it has a, a transfer function of H zero of f, right? Ideal LPF, it has a transfer function of H zero of f, and we have uh, an arbitrary LPF, right? Arbitrary low pass filter with transfer function h of f right so this ideal lpf its transfer function will be like this it will allow from minus b to b and the magnitude let it can write h0 of 0 throughout it can be one or any constant so uh, the magnitude will be constant throughout the range of frequencies uh, which it allows right so this is uh, this is h0 of f and an arbitrary low pass filter right for an example a typical example would be an rc low pass filter right so its transfer function will be something like this right its transfer function will be something like this so this is h of f right and it will have some 3 db bandwidth right now all those aspects we can do, right so now what happens when you pass noise right so normally if we model the noise as white noise right what happens what is the output power in both these cases right we'll just compare and we'll right try to relate it with uh, the bandwidth that's what we are trying to do now so in first case in first case the um, how to find the output power so we can find s n of f in case one output uh, noise power, power particle density will be equal to SW of F times mod of say uh, H0 of F square, right? So, and PN of F will be integral of this. PN of F will be integral minus infinity to infinity SN of F DF and we can find, right, so in this case, right, in this particular case, we can find this to be equal to, right, so we can find this to be equal to N naught, B is the bandwidth, and the value of H of F throughout this uh, pass band, it is equal to H zero of F, so square of that, H zero of zero, square right so this will be the output or this h0 subscript is not required maybe you can write h0 of h of 0 square right that also would be fine so this is 
the output power in the case of an ideal low pass filter right in the case of a right so a practical rc filter right practical rc filter pn of f so this is case one ideal lpf so in the case of a practical filter or any arbitrary filter right it will be equal to integral minus infinity to infinity sn of f times df right so this will be equal to so you can write n naught by 2 times integral minus infinity to infinity mode of h of f square df so how it came so in this case in this practical case sn of f will be equal to right n naught by 2 times mode of h of f square so when you integrate this n naught by 2 as a constant you can take it out right so and this integral will reduce to actually what yeah so this integral right this is the uh we will give this n naught by 2 times integral mode of h of f square df will give the total power suppose these two powers are equal right if an a, a practical low pass filter an arbitrary low pass filter gives same power as of that of an ideal low pass filter so then when we equate these two right so then when we equate these two um, we get n naught b h of 0 square h of 0 is the uh, magnitude of ideal LPF transfer function. This is equal to n naught by 2 integral minus infinity to infinity mode of h of f square df. Right. So further we can rearrange it. Suppose this magnitude spectra of h of f it is an even function of frequency. Right. So we have considered it to be equal to symmetric about f, f equal to 0. So it's an even function of frequency. So then we can rewrite it to be equal to n naught by 2 integral minus instead of this minus infinity to infinity, I can actually what? Right. 0 to infinity. Right. So uh, and it will be twice of this right mode of h of f square df right so these when these two are equal so then we can find what should be the bandwidth of ideal low pass filter right which gives same noise power output as that of an arbitrary filter so this b is what we have to find right so we'll fi find out this b is equal to this b will be equal to integral so this 2 and 2 will get cancelled and not and not will get cancelled so it is integral 0 to infinity mode of h of f square mode of h of f square df divided by h square of 0 so this h square of 0 is the uh, h of 0 is the magnitude of an ideal um, transfer function magnitude of an ideal lpf and h of f is the transfer function of an arbitrary lpf so if uh, you replace uh, an arbitrary LPF with an ideal low pass filter of bandwidth B, it will give same noise power output. So this bandwidth, right? This bandwidth is called actually what? Noise equivalent bandwidth. So what, what we have to do is if you have an arbitrary filter, right? And it gives some noise power, say PN at the output, right? So if you have to get same noise power for an ideal LPF, what should be the bandwidth of that ideal low pass filter? That is actually the noise equivalent bandwidth. It's some analogous to what the noise equivalent temperature which we have seen while we were discussing about what is N0 and all right. So this is noise equivalent bandwidth. So this idea is very important for our further discussion. So I request you to what uh, uh, think through it and uh, try to what find out what is the noise equivalent bandwidth of an RC low pass filter. So maybe we can try and find out that what is the noise equivalent bandwidth of an RC low pass filter, right? So I'll, I'll give it as a as an assignment, right? Uh, what is a or um, I'll assign this video in at Puzzle and at the end I'll add an open ended question in that you'll have to type in what is the uh, noise equivalent temperature noise so, uh, sorry, uh, the equivalent noise equivalent bandwidth of an RC low pass filter, right? So that is the 
question so thank you so we'll i'll end up the, i'll end this video with this um, small discussion so this is a very important aspect so i request everyone to go through it and uh, please do uh, provide answer to the open ended question which will be given at the end right thank you thank you so much for joining